Hello lasses and lads, in this short video I'll show you 10 ways of the sandbox game Space Engineers breaks physics. Well, to clarify, I don't find these effects something negative which has to be fixed, but I think it's useful nevertheless to know that some mechanics are really quite impossible in the real world physics, and their presence in the game is only due to sci-fi, simplicity or implementation reasons. Number 1. Sound spreading through space. In the real world, sound is a vibration spreading like a wave through matter and through the air, pushing on our eardrums, thus we hear. In space, there is little to no matter, therefore the sound waves cannot spread through any medium to us. However, this is not something special for space engineers. I've seen or heard sound spreading through space in virtually any sci-fi movie or series. Actually, it seems the developers of the game know about this, and there'll certainly be a patch in the future that adds realistic sound spreading in space. It would be cool for sure. Number 2. Visible light rays. This is quite a common sci-fi trope as well, though in Space Engineers it is like just a visual effect. You see, there's no physical way I could be able to see that glow produced by the spotlight there, because there has to be something to reflect the light to my eyes, but as always in space, there's nothing. On Earth it might be possible, especially during foggy days, to see the scattered glow of a spotlight, but not in space. Number 3. Thrusters applying force to the center of mass. If I pushed a rigid body in zero-g on most of its points, it would start moving and spinning at the same time. Reaction engines are no exception to this rule, and neither are ion thrusters. Reaction engines cause propulsion by leaving something behind, and in order to do that, they apply a force to the thing they leave there. Thanks to Newton's third law, pushing the emission causes an opposite force on the ship, and in turn causes its movement. However, the force should actually apply a moment of force, also called a torque, to the body and decompose into two forces with two different effects, translational motion and rotation. In space engineers, only the translational motion is retained, and this can be perceived as if the thrusters applied the force to the center of mass, or were equally balanced on both sides of the ship, which never causes any rotation. Number 4. Perpetual rotation. This is actually a thing of the past, because it has been fixed by now, and can be only seen in older tutorials. Though it may seem that if inertia and conservation of momentum keep objects moving, then also rotating objects should stay rotating, but the latter is not true. Objects are composed of lots of small particles, and if spinning, the particles are following circular trajectories. The change of their velocity means some force is applied to them, and applying force over some trajectory needs constant input of energy, a power. Therefore, an object cannot spin forever without being supplied with additional energy over time. Number 5. Artificial gravity. Aside from the fact that the artificial gravity field has borders and can magically pull engineers downwards, also breaking Newton's third law, its very effect on matter is questionable. It does work on engineers and items, but not on ships, as if they consisted of some very different kind of matter. Actually, the game has two types of mass, inertial mass and gravitational mass. The former is an important property of ships and stations, and tells how much force we need to apply to cause a certain acceleration. The latter is considered only in presence of artificial gravity generators, and controls the force the grid moves according to the generator, the weight. Artificial mass blocks in fact add the second type of mass to the ship, making it react to external and internal gravity generators. This can be exploited to construct a rather interesting kind of propulsion system. Ships without mass blocks are effectively weightless to artificial gravity. Number 6. Action and Reaction Twice has it been shown that space engineers breaks Newton's third law of action and reaction. Though pistons and rotors follow this law, airtight hangar doors don't. A closing hangar door pushes everything in its path without stopping, braking or moving backwards. Thanks to that, it makes them quite useful for building crushers. Number 7. Fire. This shouldn't burn. There's no oxygen in space, thus no fuel for the fire to burn. Number 8. Stationary objects. The only stationary objects in the game are, at the moment, asteroids and planets. Although the sun isn't technically an object, it can also be made static in the options. In space, there's nothing as a stationary object. Pantare, everything flows. The universe is expanding, and the gravity and kinetic energy of objects makes them all move, and there is no static grid that all objects move relative to. There is no absolute velocity or location. All objects in the universe have only relative velocity and relative location to other objects. Number 9. Inertial dampeners. 
In most science fiction, inertia dampeners are fictional devices used to negate the effect of acceleration of a system on its contents, and such device hasn't been proven to be possible yet. The inertia dampeners in Space Engineers aren't actually dampeners, merely thrusters controls to stop the object from moving. In theory, we can conventionally define an absolute coordinate system based on a non-spinning body and measure and store forces being applied to ourselves, but it wouldn't be of much use outside the object of reference. Number 10. Speed limits. The limit of speed of movement and rotation in the game isn't there because the ship or astronauts wouldn't handle it, it's because the game mechanics can't. It is force and acceleration which breaks stuff and any object can accelerate however much it wants, getting asymptotically closer and closer to the speed of light, which is technically the limit, but it cannot be ever reached. That's all. However, no matter how many laws of physics space engineers breaks, it's not Kerbal Space Program and it's still a good game. Goodbye and see you in the next video, possibly way in the future.